In this tutorial, we will be looking at multiplying larger rational expressions. We will follow the same four steps that we learned about previously, the difference being that steps 1 and 2 are even more important here to keep the calculations manageable. Let's consider the following example. Multiply the following rational expressions and include non-permissible values with your final answer. Step 1. Factor the numerators and denominators. First, we can factor out a common factor of 3 from our numerator here, and 6 from our denominator here. Now, we can factor our trinomials. A quick look and we see that the expressions are completely factored. Step 2. Cancel common factors. We can cancel x plus 2 and x minus 7, and reduce 3 over 6 to 2 in the denominator. From these cancelled factors, we get non-permissible values of x cannot equal negative 2 and 7. Step 3. Multiply. Now we multiply the two expressions together to get our final simplified expression. Step 4. Include non-permissible values with your answer. Take the denominator, make the factors equal to 0, and solve. Add the non-permissible values from step 2 and step 4, and you're done. It has been mentioned how important steps 1 and 2 are to do first, but we have not looked at why. Here is our previous example, and here it is after completing steps 1 to 3. Now, here is what it looks like when we multiply the expression together without steps 1 or 2. It is large and unmanageable. We do not currently have the skills required to factor this, and even if we did, it would take a great deal longer than simply completing steps 1 and 2 first. In this lesson, you learned about multiplying larger rational expressions together, that there are four steps to the process, and that it is very important to complete steps 1 and 2 first in order to keep the expression a manageable size.